If you're curious how well the HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop handles 3D modeling programs like Autodesk, SolidWorks, and PTC Creo, as well as motion design software like After Effects, then you're in the right place. The HP Pavilion Gaming I am reviewing comes with the Ryzen 5 5600H with 6 cores and 12 threads, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 with 4 gigs of VRAM, and a 16 gig RAM setup. 256 gig SSD is the storage in this laptop. Jumping right into things, the HP Pavilion absolutely slays it while designing an After Effects. It comes in just behind the best laptop I've had in my studio for After Effects, the MSI Creator 15. Scoring an 851, the HP doesn't mess around. But due to its lackluster GPU, while rendering in After Effects, the HP Pavilion is going to render slowly. If you are a major After Effects user, I would consider checking out the latest HP Omen with its RTX 3060 GPU. I'll have my head-to-head -head review between the Pavilion and the HP Omen linked up in the end cards when that becomes available. In Geekbench Single Core and Multi Core, the HP Pavilion handled itself well, attaining a 1336 on the Single Core benchmark, placing it near the upper end of my mid range results, proving to us that Ryzen is really stepping it up in the Single Core performance area. Now, for the Multi Core score, it was able to pull off a 6327, which places it pretty much in the middle of my charts, along with the other 6 core 12 thread processors in my lineup. Now moving on to the full on 3D modeling benchmarks, let's take a look at Cinebench R20 and R23 to keep pace with the most recent benchmark update. For a budget laptop, the Pavilion absolutely crushed it for both Cinebench tests, scoring a 3,774 in Cinebench R20 and scoring a 8,972 in Cinebench R23. Now how does the HP Pavilion handle 3D modeling programs. For Autodesk 3ds Max, we're seeing a score of 97.93. For Autodesk Maya, we're seeing a 111.92. For PTC Creo, we're seeing a 78.73. And for SolidWorks, a 66.23. And for the Blender Classroom test, the HP Pavilion was able to complete that test using the GPU in 9 minutes and 25 seconds. So regarding 3D modeling, it is certainly capable, but not a beast. I would recommend the HP Omen. If you're looking for a more budget conscious laptop, it has that new RTX 3060 GPU, or you could check out the HP ZBook Power G7 if you want the Mac daddy of 3D modeling laptops for programs like Autodesk Revit or SolidWorks due to its workstation oriented Quadro GPU. At idle, when the computer first kicks on, you'll get a little bit of fan noise and then it settles down to have no fan noise while idling. For web browsing, you're going to get about 30 to 35 decibels of fan noise. And during the 3D modeling tests I ran, there was about 51 decibels of fan noise. Now in After Effects, depending on the task you're running, it's going to go anywhere from 48 to 51 decibels. Like I said, if you want to check out the full review, you can click or tap the screen over here. And if you are curious about the exact pricing of the HP Pavilion Gaming, or if it's available currently, you can go ahead in the description below and click those links. Now remember, those are affiliate links. So if you do use them, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. That's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Until next time, keep editing, keep designing, keep creating. I'm Benji Kaiser, and I'll see you here in the next video.